Hello my dear friends and my dear students assalamu alaikum and welcome back to top lesson for you friends uh, we discussed about the anatomy of the human respiratory system up to some extent i hope you have watched those lectures and you have learned something from those lectures now here on the request of many friends uh, we are going to discuss and start a new series of lectures that are the muscles right what are muscles what are the types of muscles and we will discuss each muscle of the human body its blood supply its nerve supply its actions everything i will discuss uh, about the anatomy and structure and positions and everything about the skeletal muscles in detail so be with us friends let's uh, write here what is muscle the definition of muscle this word muscle is derived from a latin word mus right and the word mus is derived from word mous right so why it is called mus because our muscles are something which are contractile in nature right which show contraction and relaxation for example if this is a muscle right this is a muscle so sometimes this muscle can be like this right and sometimes the, the same muscle can be back like this right so it's acting like a mouse right you know when a mouse is sometime doing uh, contracting itself like this right this is its tail and these are his legs and arms right so sometimes a mouse can become like this right so we say this is a contracted mouse or a contracted muscle right and sometimes the same mouse can be like this the same mouse can be like this so this is its tail and these are his arms and legs right so like this so now this word muscle is derived from latin word mus which means mouse so why it is called so because our muscles act like these mouses right so this is a contracted mouse and this is a relaxed mouse or a relaxed muscle right friends so our muscles show this phenomena that's why this word is derived from this word mus right now what is the exact definition of a muscle how do we define a muscle uh, muscles in our body are the tissues you know in our body we have four types of tissues and those are the uh, nervous tissue right the epithelial tissue we have discussed in the connective tissue right connective tissue and then there is the muscular tissue muscular tissue so we have four types of tissues in our body and muscle is a muscular tissue first of all i will write muscle is a muscular it is a muscular tissue first of all and okay then the exact definition of muscle what is muscle muscles are those tissues in our body which contain contractile filaments right look carefully here why this muscle has become like this has acted like this because there are some rubbers or ribbons in the, inside this muscle which will contract and will bring the two edges of the muscles together right so we say a type of a type of tissue in our body which contain contractile filaments contractile filaments filaments are the protein protein fibers which show contraction and relaxation which are moveable right so muscles act like this they become they are relaxed right and when we need they become contract so this contraction and this relaxation is because of these contractile filaments right my friends so muscles are the tissues in our body which contain contractile filaments okay then further we move and say something about the 
characteristics and the functions of the muscles right so some characteristics of muscles which we should know that if someone ask you about characteristics about some muscles or about a muscle you should know some important points regarding the muscle what are the characteristics of these muscles first of all the first uh, character of the muscle is that it provides support <coughs> right it provides support to different structures of the body how look carefully for example if we have bones in our body we have you know 216 bones in our body and all these bones are held together by tendons and inside those tendons and between those tendons there is muscle so the function of muscle is to support for example if someone is running he uses its his muscles if someone wants to sit he uses his muscles if someone wants to stand he uses his muscles and all these are bones you know look if you see here if i am flexing my fingers like this so you see here these bands what are these they are causing the contraction they are pulling these fingers right so all these are muscles so my fingers and my the, the bones of my fingers are all in the support of these muscles right you can see these are the muscles so the first function of the the first characteristic or the first function of muscle is to provide it provides support right next they pro they maintain body position maintain body position okay in our body our bones are in their own positions everything is in its position so with the help of these muscles our body uh, our body organs in our body bones are in their position and it also means that when we want to stand erect so muscles help when we want to sit muscles help right so these are the uh, characteristics or functions you can also say the functions of the muscles first if you want to discuss something we should know some importance about that thing right so support and maintain body position then we say these muscles regulate body temperature regulate body temperature very important point how look carefully if our body temperature temperature i'm sorry if our body temperature rises you know in our body the set point is from 36 to 38 degrees of centigrade this is our body temperature if the body temperature increases right if the body temperature increases these muscles help our uh, body to decrease to bring back its uh, temperature to its set point if the body temperature decreases you know sometimes in cool weather we start a little bit for a second a little bit we start shiver right so this shivering action will cause the release of energy and the release of energy will cause the increase in body temperature right so they regulate also they also regulate body temperature they help in regulation of body temperature then the next important function of these muscles they generate heat they generate heat you know when we are running we f we feel that our body temperature is uh, is rising why because of the actions of these muscles these muscles are used and the metabolic activities inside the muscles increases and with the increase in metabolic activities there is the release of uh, energy there is the release of heat so muscles generate heat also this is the characteristic or function okay then these muscles uh, uh, give shape to our body they give shape also you know you can see here this is my hand and so this is the thenar region this is the anti thenar region so in this thenar region and anti thenar region and this is the forearm region right the and the uh, posterior or dorsal compartment and anterior compartment all these beauty of these hands and these our body are due to the muscles right so it give shape to the body <clears throat> okay then next important function or characteristic of these muscles they stabilize joints they stabilize joints okay look carefully you know there are bones and these bones are making these joints and here are some tendons 
right ligaments here and then uh, here we have uh, tendon and here we also have tendon and in between these two tendons there are the muscles present so these muscles here help in stabilization of this joint okay so they stabilize joints of our in between our bones right friends then they they help in movement help in movement if someone wants to move his hand or feet or anything or he wants to run and everything all these are because of the uh, muscles you know in one step right if we take one step 200 muscles are used 200 muscles are used so some of these 200 muscles will contract some of them will relax and will cause us to take only one step right so in, in taking one step we use four or five or ten or fifteen bones but we use 200 muscles so these muscles will cause our bones to move and we say that muscles help in movement okay next important function or the uh, characteristic of muscle is that uh, they show contractility contractility because of these contractile filaments which are present inside the muscle they, these muscles are contracted you know when uh, like this look carefully when I contract here the muscles right you see movements occur in, uh, in my hand the bones are moved because of these uh, the contraction actions of these muscles these are contracted in the interior compartment so movement uh, uh, flexion occurs and when we see in the back of the hand the contraction of the posterior compartment when occur like this so my fingers are back relaxed right extensed okay so they show contractility and uh, number 10 we say that number 9 we say that uh, they show the phenomenon of excitability excitability very important nerves here are supplying our muscles so when these nerves release some chemical mediators or we say they release some uh, uh, some chemicals in these junctions these muscles will act according to the action of those chemicals so we say the muscles become excitable right then the next function of the muscles is that they store calcium they store calcium you know in our body calcium is stored in our bones and teeth right and inside the muscles and inside the muscle cells we have endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum so in that endoplasmic reticulum inside that endoplasmic reticulum inside our muscles calcium is present in a huge amount and this calcium is important there because uh, for the contraction for the easy contraction of these muscles the next function of the muscle very importantly is that it regulates entry and exit of different substances regulate entry and exit of substances inside and outside the body how look carefully if we have our mouth in front of our mouth we have our lips and our lips contain orbicularis oris muscles so if these muscles are contracted our mouth is close so if our mouth is closed can something enter to our body through mouth no so we say it controls or regulate entry of substances and i'm just giving examples my friends and if there is our anus right and in the anal canal we have muscles which are surrounding the anal canal and if these muscles are contracted so nothing can be expelled out of the body right expelled out. or we say if we have our urinary bladder here and this is our urethra right so here we have inner urethral sphincter and then we have outer urinal uh, uh, urethral sphincters there and all these sphincters contain muscles so if these muscles uh, will not allow the urine to pass out right so we cannot pass the urine so we say muscles uh, regulate entry and exit of substances from our body this is very important function of the muscles the next function of the muscle is that uh, they are elastic 
they show the phenomena of elasticity muscles are elastic in nature you know in our blood vessels we have smooth muscles right and these smooth muscles contract and relax contract and relax so that they push the blood forward right okay then muscles keep us alive friends they keep us alive how you know the important organ in our body is our heart and inside our heart the my, uh, myocardium of the heart we have muscles myocardial muscles and these muscles are always pushing the blood they are relaxing and contracting to bring the blood and to push the blood to our body so in this manner we are alive so muscles keep us alive these are the important points about muscles which everyone should know that what the muscle is playing what what is the important role of the muscle in our body friends right then the next important function of these muscles they help in achieving right okay then we also know that they also help in laughing they also help in crying they also help in throwing objects right they also help in sitting they also help in standing right they also help in um, running right these are very uh, minor functions next important function is that they regulate very importantly friends very very importantly they regulate blood pressure right how look carefully here in our blood vessels we have smooth muscles and when these smooth muscles are contracted right when these smooth muscles are contracted so pressure more pressure is applied on the blood and there is more blood pressure and when these muscles are relaxed right less pressure is applied and less blood pressure is created right so they regulate blood pressure also okay my dear friends these were this is was the introduction of the muscle what is muscle muscles are a type of tissue in our body which contain contractile filaments this is the medical definition of the muscle and the word muscle is derived from latin word mus which means mouse and why because our muscles act like mouses sometimes mouse become like this sometimes mouse become like this so our muscles also sometimes becomes contracted like this and sometimes become relaxed like this right and these are the characteristics of the muscles and important functions of the muscles which they perform in our body inshallah in the next lecture we will discuss about the gross anatomy microscopic anatomy of the muscle in detail we will discuss about the sarcomere and we will discuss about the structure of skeletal muscles the cardiac muscles and the smooth muscles inshallah in detail and how do they perform their action we will discuss and then we will start discussing each muscles of the upper limb and the lower limb and other body parts so, so friends be with us this is our new series of lectures if you like these lectures please uh, invite your friends to the channel and please do subscribe and share our videos see you guys there in, in the next lectures till then allah hafiz